discounting in Acumatica. In 2018 R2, we added several new discounting features to our core functionality. In this video, I will review these features within common usage scenarios. Acumatica supports a flexible discounting structure, including line item discounts, group discounts, and document level discounts. Discounting algorithms are consistently applied to several different documents in Acumatica. The discounts are applied on top of base prices. The base price is determined based on information about the inventory item, the quantity ordered, the customer, and the date of the transaction. This information is defined on the Sales Prices screen. I can show all entries for a specific item class or inventory items. After defining the price, the system applies line and group discounts. The sum of the results is the eligible discount amount for document level discounts. Discounts are defined by discount codes. The discount code defines the type of discount and when it is applicable. Discounts can be included for specific customers, inventory items, warehouses, branches, or price classes. If a discount is indicated as manual, it means that it is excluded from automatic searches for the best discount, but it can be manually added by users. After defining a discount code, I can use the discount screen to define discount levels, break amounts, and effective dates. Document level discounts are calculated based on eligible discount amount. This amount is the sum of all document line totals minus any line and group discounts. In 2018 R2, we added a new type of discount called an external discount. External discounts can be imported and applied without having to be first defined in the system. Manual discounts. To demonstrate a manual discount, I open a sales order for a customer that is eligible for both line discounts and document discounts. By ordering enough items, my customer qualifies for a line level discount. This is immediately applied. In addition, by placing a large enough order by adding additional items, my customer qualifies for a document level discount. In 2018 R2, you can manually change the automatically calculated discounts. I can change the discount amount or the discount percent that is applied. If needed, I can also remove group or document level discounts. The system now includes the ability to specify which discounts should be recalculated. For documents with a large number of lines, this allows me to reset all manual discounts. When I process the document using the quick process, manual discounts are preserved and appear on my invoice as shown here. External discounts. Many Acumatica customers import sales orders with discounts from external systems such as commerce sites and point-of-sale systems. When discounts are predefined, the system should not recalculate them. In this example, I created a special order type that automatically enables the checkbox called Disable Automatic Discount Update. When this is enabled, all entered discounts are preserved and the system does not apply any additional discounts. Normally, this order would be imported but I can add external discounts manually. The code, description, and amount are all received from an external system. If the order is changed, such as quantities or prices, all external discounts are maintained. When the order is processed, the external discounts are preserved all the way through to invoicing. A simple document level discount. Customers with less complex discounting can turn off document level discounts on the Enable Disable Features form. When these items are turned off, the Discount Details tab is hidden and I can edit the discount total at the document level. This enables salespeople and external systems to define and modify document level discounts. The discount amount is passed along to the invoice after the order has been processed. For more information about Acumatica, visit our website or contact an Acumatica partner.